Hello, today our lecture is about morphology of spirochetes, actinomycetes, rickettsia, mycoplasma and fungi. I will talk what is acid fasting bacteria, how we can see the microorganisms, how many types of microscopes we have, and how to study the bacteria and living state. Go to back to biological classification of Cavalier Smith. We remember that he and his collaborators divide all biological organisms in seven kingdoms. The microbiology study the single cell organisms, called prokaryotes predominantly. Sometimes uh, we study the fungi, our eukaryotes. What is different between prokaryotes and eukaryotes? They are different by next signs. The first sign is size. Prokaryotes have small size than eukaryotes. The second sign is nucleus. Eukaryotes have true nucleus with nuclear membrane, then prokaryotes have primitive nucleus without nuclear membrane called nucleoid. The third sign is a number of chromosomes. Prokaryotes have only one chromosome, then eukaryotes have a set. The fourth sign is presence of mitochondria in cell. Only eukaryotes have mitochondria and endoplasmic reticulum. The fifth sign is structure of cell wall. Prokaryotic cell wall is made up of complex rigid layer. Eukaryotic cell wall continues with well-defined endoplasmic reticulum and nucleon membrane. The sixth sign is sedimentation coefficient of ribosomes. It is a ratio of particle sedimentation velocity to applied acceleration causing the sedimentation. 70 is for prokaryotes and 80 is for eukaryotes. The seventh sign is present of motility organelles. In prokaryotic cell is unstanded, in a eukaryotic cell is multistanded. In this lecture I will talk about kingdoms bacteria and fungi. Types of fungi from Philum ascomicota, spirochetes from spirochetes, uh, mycoplasma from tenericutes, actinomycetes from act actinobacteria, and serichetia from proteobacteria. On this slide you can see rickettsia. Rickettsia is a genus of non-motile, gram-negative, non-spore-forming, highly pleomorphic bacteria that may occur in the forms of coxi, bacilli, or threads. Next slide is actinomycetes. This organism are closely related to the mycobacteria, but were originally classified as a fungi because they were thought to be transitional forms between bacteria and fungi. Actinomyces species may form endospores, and while individual bacteria are rod-shaped. Actinomyces colonies form fungus-like branched network of gifa. The aspects of these colonies initially led to the incorrect assumption that the organism was a fungus and to the name Actinomyces array fungus. Mycoplasma from the nericutes, a genus of bacteria that lack of cell wall around their cell membranes. They can be parasitic or saprotrophic. Several species are pathogenic in humans, including Mycoplasma pneumonia which is an important cause of walking pneumonia and other respiratory disorders, and mycoplasma genitalium, which is believed to be involved in pelvic inflammationary disease. Mycoplasma species are the smallest bacterial cells, yet discovered can survive without oxygen and some in various shapes. For example, mycoplasma genitalium is flex-shaped, while Mycoplasma pneumonia is more elongated. Hundreds of mycoplasma species infect animals. You know spirochetes from previous lecture as a curved form bacteria. Spirochetes contains distinctive dederm double membrane bacteria, most of which have long helical coiled, corkscrew shaped or spiraled cells. Spirochetes are hemoheterotrophic in nature, which lengths between 3 and 500 nanometers and diameter around 0.09 to at least 3 nanometers. 
Sparacletus are distinguished from the other bacterial phyla by the location of their flagella, sometimes called actual filaments, which run lengthwise between the bacterial inner membrane and outer membrane in periplasmic space. This causes a twisting motion, which allows the sparacleta to move about. When reproducing, a, a sparacleta will undergo a sexual transverse binary fission. Most sparacletes are free living and anaerobic, but there are numerous exceptions. Sparacletes bacteria are diverse in their pathogenic capacity and the ecological niches that they inhabit as well as molecular characteristics including guanine, cytosine, content and genome size. For medical practices, yeast play an important role. It are unicellular organisms that involve it from multicellular ancestors, which some species have the ability to develop multicellular characteristics by forming strings of connected body cells known as pseudogypha or false gypha. Its size vary greatly, depending on species and environment, typically measuring 3 or 4 nanometers in diameter, although some yeast can grow to 40 nanometers in size. Most yeast reproduce asexually by mitosis, and many do so by the asymmetric division process, known as a budding. With their single-celled growth habit, yeast can be contrasted with molds which grow gypha. Fungal species that can take both forms depending on temperature or other conditions are called dimorphic fungi. Added fat bacteria. Added fatness is physical property of certain bacterial and eukaryotic cells. Characterized resistance to decolorization by acids during laboratory staining procedures. The resistant to the acid or ethanol based decolorization. The mechanism of acid fatness vary by species, although the most well known example is in the genus Mycobacterium, which includes the species responsible for tuberculosis and leprosy. The acid fatness of mycobacteria is due to the high mycolic acid content of their cell walls, which is responsible for the staining pattern of poor absorption followed by high retention. Some bacteria may also be partially acid fast, such as nocardia. Bacteria have a very small size and we cannot see it by naked eye. For watching the bacteria, we use microscope. Microscope is an instrument for viewing objects that are too small to be seen by naked eye. The most common type of microscope is optical, containing one or more lenses that produce an enlarged lineage of an object placed in the focal plane of the lens. Modern classification of microscope is present on the slide. Binocular stethoscopic is a microscope that, that allows easy observation of 3D objects at low magnification. Bright field microscope is a typical microscope that uses transmitted light to observe targets at the high magnification. Polarizing microscope is a microscope that uses different light transmission characteristics of materials, such as crystalline structures, to produce an image. Phase contrast microscope is a more microscope that visualizes minute surface irregularities by using light interference. It is commonly used to observe living cells without staining them. Differential interference contrast microscope this microscope, similar to the phase contrast, is used to observe minute surface 
irregularities, but at a high resolution. However, the use polarized light limits the variety of observable specimen containers. Fluorescent microscope is biological microscope that observes fluorescence emitted by samples by using special light sources such as mercury lamps. When combined with additional equipment, bright field microscope can also perform fluorescent imaging. Total internal reflection fluorescent is a fluorescent microscope that uses an evanescent wave to only illuminate near the surface of specimen. The region that is viewed is generally very thin compared to conventional microscopes. Observation is possible in molecular units due to reduced background light. Laser scanning confocal microscope is the microscope uses laser beams for clear observation of thick samples with different focal distance. Multiphoton existential microscope is microscope used of multiple existation laser reduce damage to cell and allows high resolution observation of deep areas. This type of microscope is used to observe nerve cells and blood flow in the brain. Structured illumination microscope is a high resolution microscope with advanced technology to overcome limited resolution found in optical microscopes that is caused by the diffraction of light. Electronic mi electron microscope is divided in three types. Transmission electron microscope, scanning electron microscope are microscopes uh, emit electron beams, not light beams, toward target to magnify them. Atomic force microscopes scanning near field optical microscope are microscope scans the surface of samples with a probe and this interaction is used to measure fine surface shapes of properties. And modern uh, microscopes are X-ray microscope and ultrasonic microscopes. A general biological microscope mainly consists of objective lens, ocular lens, lens tube, stage and reflector. An object placed on the stage is magnified through the objective lens. When the target is focused, a magnified image can be observed through the ocular lens. In our discipline, we will use bright field, phase contrast, and fluorescent microscope. The description of phase contrast microscope. Phase contrast microscope makes it possible by utilizing two characteristics of light, diffraction and interference, to visualize specimens based on brightness differences. Principle of work. With a record of periodic movements, such as, as sinusoidal waves, the face represents the portion of the wave that he elapsed relative on, to the origin. Light is also an oscillation, and the face changes when passing through an object between the light that has passed through, and remains light. Even if the object is colorless and transparent, there is still a change in the phase when light passes through it. This phase contrast is converted by brightness differences to observe specimens. Features of this microscope. Transparent cell, cells can be observed without staining them because their phase contrast can be converted into brightness differences. Because it is not necessary to stain cells, cell division and other processes can be observed in living state. Structure of microscope. Because diffracted light is too weak to be normally observed by the eye, a face plate is located at the focal point of light between the objective lens and the, and the image surface so that only the face of the direct light changes. This generates contrast on the image surface. Structure features include a ring aperture instead of pinhole on the focal plane, 
of the converging lens and the faceplate on the rear focal plane of objective lens. Next, fluorescent microscope enables cell and proteins to be observed by using fluorescent protein or antibody as a label. This type of microscope is indispensable for modern cell biology. The principle of work. Fluorescent materials absorb a specific wavelength of light and emit light of longer wavelength, which is based on Stokes' law. For example, the fluorescent emitted by a target molecule can be observed by adding a specific fluorescent reagent to the cells and then applying excitation light. A fluorescent microscope has all of the components to induce this fluorescent and capture of resulting image. Futures of microscope allows observation of fluorescent images in addition to observation with transmitted light. It is possible to only observe specific areas by using different fluorescent labels. Fluorescent dyes enable users to view localization of particular proteins in cells. The use of fluorescent proteins such as GFP label allows for observation of living cells. Structure. Fluorescent microscope is combination of biological microscope and fluorescent incident illumination equipment. The structure includes a focus knob, XY stage handle for position, positioning specimens, and revolver for switching objective lens. For lighting, it is also equipped with a cube turret that adjusts the wavelengths of the existing light, the shutter that prevents photo bleaching of samples, and natural density filter that adjusts the strength of the existing light. In the last slide of our lecture, detection of motility by hand drop preparation. How we prepared it? We add liquid culture on the cover slip and cavity slide. Slide inverted on the cover slip, bring the cavity over the drop, check in microscope in lower power of objective than under high power. And we, have, we can use another techniques such as silver impregnation techniques when we can see flagella by light microscopy. We can see flagella by electron microscopy. We prepared um, hand drop preparation and detect the motility in phase contrast microscopy. Uh, indirectly by observing swarming type of growth and uh, we, motility can be demonstrated by using semi-solid agar with help of cage tubes or U-tube. Thank you for your attention.